Cause your license needs saving Do the wise thing Call wise man lawyers Cause your license needs saving Do the wise thing Call wise man lawyers Don't face that court alone Let the wise man team get you back on the road Does your license need saving Do the wise thing Call the wise man team Black wise man Okay, yeah, today I'm at Holland Park Magistrates Court. Client was charged with uh, drink driving, 0.136. Uh, look, basically what's happened is uh, he's had two, a couple of beers. Uh, he's been repairing his son's vehicle. He's taken it for a bit of a test drive post-repair. Uh, and he's had a bit of a fender bender. Um, he's then just parked the vehicle, walked home about 500 metres away, and he was, I guess he was in shock, so he's had some drinks at home after having driven. Uh, he's then uh, walked back to uh, the car to try and uh, find the owner of the vehicle that he's had the fender bender with. The police are there, they've breathalyzed him, and um, uh, he's provided a reading of 0.136, but obviously, as I said, uh, he's consumed alcohol after uh, having driven, so the reading wasn't reflective of what was in his system when he was driving so uh the police were good enough to order a count back certificate so uh basically what that is is the uh forensic uh medical officer at the uh lab who analyzes the blood samples has uh estimated the actual reading at the time of driving by doing a count back literally looking at the reading that was blown uh when it, you know dealing with the police and then counted back the time to the uh, time of the incident and uh, estimated that rather than 0.136 he would have been low range uh, they didn't give a estimated reading they just said low range so they've estimated that he's got, would have been anywhere between 0.05 and 0.1 uh, so mid mid range starts at 0.1 low range is 0.05 to 0.099 so even though that's still quite a broad window, it meant that he was charged with uh, low-range drink driving rather than mid-range drink driving. Um, but it made it difficult for both myself and the magistrate to work out exactly uh, what the reading we was. Because, as I said, obviously, uh, that's quite a broad window. Uh, I did try and push for the minimum one month. Like if you had been charged with mid-range driving based on the reading, the minimum would have been three months, but that dropped down to uh, one month when it became mid-range. But the the collision and the uh, how long's a piece of string kind of decision making on what the actual reading was made it difficult uh, for both me to persuade the magistrate to give the minimum and for the magistrate to think the minimum was appropriate. Uh, I made forceful submissions though about the impact that a uh, lengthy loss of license would have upon my client. Um, and I, you know, I pressed a, a number of points uh, in doing that. Short version is uh, the magistrate decided that a 10-week uh, disqualification, so two and a half months, 10 weeks, was appropriate, given that it was just so hard for them to work out exactly what the reading was at the time of driving. And I guess the lesson is, if you have any kind of driving incident, if you go home and have some drinks afterwards, it's just gonna cause problems for you, the police, the magistrate, and everyone else. So, anyway, uh, 10 weeks, a moderate fine, uh, client satisfied. I'm Andrew Wiseman. Thanks for watching. Does your license need saving? Do the wise thing. Call wise man lawyers. Does your license need saving? Do the wise thing.